guys, it's Akalis, and welcome back. In today's deck review, I'm going to be reviewing the Egyptian Legends Red Playing Cards. Now, first off, this deck has 54 cards, meaning it has one Joker and one Gaff card, which is actually a blank card. This deck came out in 2014, and it's actually in three colours. There's red, black, and blue. The Tuck Case has gold for inside and outside the deck, and it's embossing on the Tuck Case. It's printed by a Legends Playing Card Company in Taiwan, and the artwork is by Mark Studsman, who created the decks from David Blaine. It's a marked deck, but also when you get the deck, you'll learn where those are, so I'm not going to go through the marked deck system but there is actually a marked deck and the conjuring arts uh, says that on their site uh, it's also uh, just to let you guys know apart from the back featuring um, kind of the Egyptian eagle and etc it's got a very Egyptian theme to the deck and it's absolutely cool the gold it really really is an awesome deck of cards um, and if you basically want because it's printed by Legends Playing Cards, because they've got a smaller run. If you want a gaff card, you have to remove a Joker. So you can't have 56 cards. They're a little bit smaller to the USPCC when they come to their printing. So if you want two gaff cards, you have to get rid of the Jokers completely. Just so you guys are aware, if you feel like you've only you've been misgiven a deck and you may receive just one Joker. Just so you guys are all aware. So let's get straight on to the Tuck Case. Okay, so with the Tuck Case, you can see it has the gold foil and the embossing obviously you would feel when you actually have the deck on the front it has legends there and it has egyptian edition and it has the really awesome design playing cards there i'll let you have a quick look at that the coloring is kind of a white gold in a burgundy kind of color and the creams on the side it has legends playing card company and then on the opposite side it has the exact same it has poker size diamond finish with a custom seal there and it has legends code company there as you can see really really cool the bottom has a qr scanner code and it just says 2014 basically the deck and it has where it was made in taiwan and hubei and etc the back of the top case actually is really cool it has the gold foil as you can see there and it has a cutout of the deck so what that means is if i get rid of the deck it actually has a cutout of the deck which is really really cool so this actually is a cutter which goes the whole way through looks like a block of gold inside the deck as you can tell um, which is just awesome it's really good if you actually maybe if you forced a card you could place it back in and you could get a glimpse of what that card was um, you could do that with many kind of tricks it's really really awesome and um, I really like that fact that you can do that but inside you can see it's absolutely stunning with the gold really really cool don't know how easy that's going to come off I hope not a lot that's just an awesome deck really really cool looking and then the back design as you can see is the gold foil around as I mentioned, you get a gaff card, which is actually a blank card. But then if you move on to the back design, it features a white border going around with the uh, pyramids there and etc. You can see all of the kind of Egyptian style on the back design. Really, really cool. It is a marked deck, just so you guys know. But I won't be going over how to read it. So that will be something you guys can look into when you actually purchase the deck. So first of all, this is a mirrored back, meaning if you flip it round, it makes no difference. So if I say, for example, uh, cut these around, you can see there's no change to the back design whatsoever, apart from the actual deck reading side of it. The blank card is really useful for magic as well. You can actually do a certain trick, for example, when you have the deck there, if you found it the opposite way, it looks like you've got a blank deck apart from the way I just found it there, but you guys get the point. On top of that, you receive this Joker with the Joker, you just receive one. It's a dragon on top of a pyramid and it has Joker, Joker, and you only receive one. It disappoints me that you only get one, but obviously it's because of the smaller run, but I really like having two Jokers because you can do many tricks with the Jokers. With the Aces, you can see it has Legends Playing Card Co with the Ace of Spades there with a sword going through, which is really, really stunning. And continues with the other Aces, they are just standard, so you don't get the custom Aces just in case you guys would think that, that you just get standard aces, which you're probably any way used to. The rest of the pips are just standard. There's nothing really much to mention about them. They are just standard. Even when it comes to the royalty, the coloring is a bit darker. As you can see, it's more of a red, and they've desaturized it a little bit. But this continues the whole way through, even for the hearts as well. The hearts really are just normal red, but it's just the royalty that kind of is the different color shading to normal. Um, so there's really not much to say about those. It is quite a standard looking um, set of faces, but then the back design is what makes this deck awesome. 
Okay, so for the deck itself, you can see the back design really, really pops. It has the really nice white fin border, so it makes for a really incredible looking fan. Absolutely stunning, as you can see. I really recommend this deck just for fans. It's absolutely stunning. Now, you can do just say, for example, a ferro, like so, and it comes to doing a giant fan. You can see it looks absolutely amazing. Really, really cool. The red color pops off the white. The design is very unique at the same time, so it makes for a very cool and interesting design. Comes to spreading the cards, it does that very, very well. Dribbling also, cutting in the hands is no problem as well. It's a really, really smooth deck of cards and it looks great as well while doing it. All round, this is a very nice deck of cards. Apart from I wish it had two jokers and they did do two gas cards. But that's just me being picky. The reason I like jokers is because if I had to do a trick just to say, because I'm not a magician, but if I had to do a trick to say someone, I always use the jokers because it's just the first trick that comes into my head. This is an awesome deck pick. Really, really cool. If you guys like this video, then comment down below what you guys thought of this deck. If you guys would like to click subscribe, click on my logo there and click subscribe or check out the most recent video. Hope you guys are enjoying the kind of videos every single day of December and uh, let me know what you think. That's it guys, would you pick this deck up? I'll leave a link in the description. Goodbye.